welcome back in this video we will create a data model and we will load the data we have fetched from google news in our recycler view so first of all let's just modify the model we have already created it's just having a title and an image url but we need other things too for storing other information like we need for one for description and the other one for let me check here title description author and post url that's not required content author content perfect so let me create the constructor again alt insert to create this I'm selecting all of them perfect so just go to there and just remove all of this stuff on each iteration of uh, this for loop we are getting one post so in order to store our information what we need to do is create a model object for example an article model let's say and i want to store one complete post information inside it so that's going to have a title so article dot get string and it's going to be title and the other parameter is image url so I, I can get it like this article dot get string and it's actually name here is url to image so i can get it like this perfect so next i need to get is article dot get string next one is i guess description and content author next one is let me check here in the model the third one is description so it is going to be description here and the fourth one is article dot get string fourth one is author and the next one is content so author comma article dot get string and this is going to be content now this way we will be able to store all of our information in article model and this is one object so i need to push this in our whole data array for that i need to just call a function dot add and i am going to provide it article model perfect so this will store all of the articles in our data model so what we need to do now is to modify our row to display the data like uh, the google news does it has an image up top which has a width of uh, the whole screen uh, and below that it contains below that it contains the other information like its title and description so i will be displaying the only title and uh, next i will create another activity for the detail of that particular post so for now i'm going to just modify this for example i'm going to make its width to match parent and uh, its height to let's say 200 dp and then the text view should be below this one so for that let me just make it for now match parent and later on i will convert it to wrap content so this is the image here i need to attach it at the top and this text view just remove this constraint from here and this should be attached to the image 
just go to design part and perfect so just remove this one and remove its margin to 8 just 8 is enough perfect so th there we go we have created our uh, row design so no we need to just go to our recycler view and just uh, modify little things like title is item dot title is perfect perfect everything is good to go so just i'm going to run this project but one thing is remaining and that is we have commented out this stuff and this stuff needs to be maintained here whenever this for loop is completed this should be created for that should be here and we cannot access context from here so we can do is main activity does this and here also we can access its context context like this and another thing needs that needs to be changed no I think it's all right so let me run it let's see what happens oh it's loading up it's loading up perfect as you can see it's loading up but it's taking a little bit of time to load something up now it will load the image of this one perfect but as you can see that we missed one thing and that was that we didn't change this to wrap content it was still match parent so I need to do this like this now it will be fine enough but I am excited that it worked for us perfect now you can see that it is working fair enough images are taking some time because they are the heavy stuff perfect so what we uh, are going to do now is when we are going to create another activity that will have the explanation of this uh, post on whenever we click on a post that will take to another activity which will have the explanation of this post and I want to just change the text size of this text title let's just make it maybe 16 sp will be fine and just remove this bold stuff from here perfect so what we need to do now is to create a go to our recycler uh, view adopter and just create here an interface so i'm going to create interface called uh, click interface this will take care of click events for example I'm going to have here public on click function and it is going to have two parameters one is going to be a view 
and the other one is going to be position we can make it public as well uh, by default interfaces are also public and now we need to extend uh, implement this for that we need to just add here implements click listener click interface sorry and you know you can see the error if we press alt enter here it will create uh, it will implement the method that is on click method so this way it has been implemented so what we need to do is return on click and we need to pass it view plus the position of we can get the position by just uh, get adopter position method integer position pause is equal to get adopter position and I can pass it here what's wrong in it alright okay okay it's a recursive call sorry we have implemented the wrong click listener this click listener is not should not be implemented yet but we have to implement view dot click listener the click listener that is uh, provided by Android studio by default and we need to implement that method perfect so what now we need to do is is to just create a reference to click listener that we have created and that is actually click interface and it click interface object so now we need to check if our click listener that we have created and that is click interface click interface it is not being accessed here why okay it's a static context so we need to create this static so click if click uh, interface is not equal to null then we can do is we can call its function on click and pass it view and get adopter position from it and we uh, this will automatically call uh, the function that will implement this method and here we need to just give uh, click listener here we need to just specify our click listener here on click listener this perfect so whenever this item is been clicked this on click function will be called and it will check if click, click interface is not equal to null it will call this function so now we need to go to main activity and implement our click listener so how we can do that we can do that by just having setting up here the recycler view dot set on recycler view dot click Here we can implement that uh, interface implements recycle. 
recycler view was my recycler view my recycler view adapter dot click interface and then we need to implement its function on click and here we will get the position of the item that is being clicked so before this we need to just set a click listener to this public wide set click listener and it will have interface click interface perfect so now we need to call this function here recycler view dot adapter dot set click listener this or we can do is main activity dot this perfect so this is now working perfectly so what we need to do is on click event we need to handle it so whenever an item is clicked that information should be passed uh, to the to another activity so we need to create another activity here i'm going to do that cancel just click on package name new and from here just select the activity and let's say empty activity just make it post detail finish go to its layout and just add an, a text view an image view first It's going to be match parent wrap content or 300 may 200 maybe will be enough size 200 dp and its constraint should be up top perfect so next what I need to do is that for a text field for a title it's going to be wrap content content and we need to give it constraints let's just go to the design view give it some text first make it it and just remove this drop bottom constraint and add another text view at the bottom of this one and just add this to the title it should have and add its height to match constraint this is going to be end width also to match constraint because this is going to have our detail or this content of the post and another thing we need to do is for now just do this and give them IDs for example this is going to be txt detail this is going to be txt title
no sorry this is wrong actually i need to give it because i've already given this let's give it post title and i've done a mistake and that's a bigger mistake i guess that the pop-up window may have changed here the id of that let me check no it's all right there is not a problem so image view height is should be 200 dp and give it for example img thumb perfect so we have created our view here let's just go to this activity and just find these views first of all i'm going to find title text view text view detail image view thumb and we can get get intent dot get integer extra and it's going to be index this will be passed from the previous activity later on okay this should be string index and this needs to be stored here integer index and now what we can do is we can directly just uh, first of all let's attach these views and then we will access the data part of a find view by id r dot id dot txt post title detail thumb perfect so now we need to get the data from the array that holds all of this stuff and this is this data array how we can do it do this we can uh, we cannot pass this with the intent so what we have to do is we have to make it static and access it directly in the this one so what we can do is we can create we can fetch one article from here the article that is selected by user by just uh, getting that uh, main activity dot data array and from that array i'm going to get the index that in, is passed with the intent we will do this stuff later so now we need to fetch the information we are required from this article object and set that to the respective component set text article dot title and title and detail dot set text article dot content and the third one is thumb i need to select this with the glide app set this with glide app glide dot with this is going to be the context dot load and i need to pass u r l detail dot sorry detail dot there should be article dot its image url dot set sorry dot load into and target is going to be thumb perfect so we have done a lot of stuff here but we are remain left with the only one thing and that is we need to start here activity by creating first of all the intent intent is equal to new intent 
main activity dot this command detail what was the name name was post detail dot class and just we need to attach with it the put extra it's going to be index and pass the position here the user has clicked on and start activity intent perfect so let's just start this app it might crash because we have done a lot of work and we haven't tested it so far We will add a progress bar later on because it's it takes some time to load up things. Like in this case, as you can see that it has taken a bit of time to load up. And one thing I should show you that is that first uh, when we started the first post was this one, but now the first post is this one. So it is constantly up updating as uh, long as the uh, google news will kept this post on top this will remain on top whenever they will change uh, the hair the post will be changed also so when i click this a new activity is called with the detail of activity perfect so this was all we wanted to do we can optimize it we can change its layout we can make it better but uh, I'm not supposed to do that because that will take a lot of time by doing that I am just uh, going to tell you the basic idea how we can create this kind of stuff so now I'm going to add a back button here at the top of this one so for that I'm just you need to go to the post detail Java and there is a built-in button here we need to just call a function to get that to enable that for example get support action bar dot set home as up enable to if we call this function this will automatically enable the going previous button and we need to have a try catch here because sometimes it throws exception it's a safety measure and then get support action bar that set home button enabled true these are the two methods we need to call let me just run it again perfect and as you can see there is a going back button if I press this it is not working right now so we need to just enable its click event as well I'm finding the function that goes back I don't remember that actually let me find that just whenever you stuck anywhere just go and search for search on Google for like I'm going to search here that uh, 
just search like that and it will it is not the one I'm looking for I need to just change the keywords here I'm looking for this one okay so what I need to do is I need to just copy this function from here and just paste it here whenever this uh, button will be called it will call this function and whenever home is called we need to finish this activity so it will take us to back to the previous activity and what's the error here this is the error so let me move that and just run it again now you can see the post is changed and if i click i go went back and perfect so you can select anyone from here and just it's working perfectly fine now i'm going to add another thing and that's the last thing i will be adding and that's actually the uh, progress bar whenever uh, the post is loaded completely then the progress bar should should be invisible otherwise it should show up here so i'm going to add a progress bar here progress bar wrap content wrap content and give it an id progress for example progress circular and I need to give it some constraints so I'm going to design and just add some constraints this one comes up this is not letting me create constraint What can I do this? The other thing that I can do in a situation like this that I can center it and it automatically creates. So perfect. So our progress bar is created. We need to go to main activity and link this progress bar. And progress bar is equal to find view by ID r dot id dot progress dot circular something like that was dot progress what was the id of it it was progress circular Now when this loading stuff is completed, I mean whenever this uh, recycler view is set here, the progress bar should uh, be invisible. So I'm going to make it set visibility and I'm going to select gone from here. Perfect. So I'm going to run it again. 
it's also a pretty long video perfect so this way you can create app like google news thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next videos